right, good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford at WWL Louisiana, and we have some news as far as the tropics go this afternoon. Tropical storm Debbie has formed the fourth named storm of this season so far, right in the first few days of August. Its location, the center of this system, is just off the coast of Cuba, and it is in the far southeastern Gulf of Mexico at this point. And you can see just looking at the satellite and radar imagery, there is more organization than we've seen with this system, which became a depression last night and is now already a tropical storm pretty close to the timeline indicated from the National Hurricane Center's forecast. You can see the swirling around the center. You can see those rain bands starting to take on that more typical tropical storm kind of structure look. And we are expecting this to be moving northwest right now at 15 miles per hour, but soon to move north and then northeast. Very quickly, you can see the center there, 70 miles northwest of Havana. We're expecting it to move to the north and then, as I said, curve to the northeast. I'll show you the steering in a second. But a couple of changes with this particular forecast update from the National Hurricane Center, and we've been talking about this since yesterday, is that it could become a hurricane before a landfall somewhere in that Florida generally big bend kind of region. So could be a bit farther west, could be a bit farther east. We will see, but it does look like it will probably now have enough time in this extreme far east part of the Gulf of Mexico over these warm waters without that much wind shear to strengthen maybe to a strong tropical storm or indeed to a category one hurricane. I don't think it would be there for very long, but it does look like it will have that time and that placement over the water to possibly allow that to happen. So that is now part of the National Hurricane Center's forecast. By Monday afternoon, they're forecasting a landfall. So that has slowed down in time as well. So the slower time and also just the longer time and placement over those really warm waters. You'll see a note a difference in the second part of the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Now it takes this kind of jog to the east and then north, and that is because the steering will not be as strong in this general part of the system's lifetime. By that point, a trough will have lifted north and it'll be just a little bit more drifting off to the east and then picked up and moving off to the north. This is what we're thinking still with the upper pattern is that it's going to follow this general trend. Here's the trough dropping in, drawing it to the north and northeast, all going around this high out to the east. And we, by the way, in Louisiana and Mississippi are under the influence of another high, keeping us just really hot and looking for no impacts for Louisiana and Mississippi from Debbie at this point. We are expecting it to take that path, but you can see the trough kind of pulls away early and then it might take its time without a whole lot of strong steering and sort of hover here in the general part of the southeastern U.S maybe for a good chunk of the early part of next week. And you can see our models indicating that kind of difference that we're seeing with the forecast from the National Hurricane Center reflecting this sort of general stopping or stalling or slowing down somewhere around the southeast and then possibly eventually moving up the east coast of the U.S. Now, the National Hurricane Center has also been pointing out a lot will depend on whether it is able to get back out over the Atlantic at some point early next week or whether it will stay inland. If it stays inland, of course, it would bring heavy rain, but be weakening. But if it is able to get back over these warm western Atlantic waters, then it would have the chance to maybe strengthen just off the coast of the eastern U.S. So that remains to be seen still a ways until this part of the forecast for Debbie. There are new tropical storm watches, warnings, hurricane watches and warnings, and you can see tropical storm warnings in the orange, including the Tampa area and the reds here. You can see especially to the east of Panama City again in that Big Bend area. That would be a hurricane warning because of that potential for hurricane conditions coming in the next couple of days. So the big thing I think aside from the high winds is also some possible coastal flooding storm surge along the west coast of Florida, of course. And then for a lot of folks in Florida, it's going to be heavy rain, even pretty far inland and even into the southeastern US on the coast of Georgia and into the Carolinas. Those yellows that you see there, that's indicating about up to seven plus inches, maybe even closer to 10 in some spots. So I think the heavy rain will be a big thing, especially if it slows down. That means it's going to continue to pump that moisture over this general part of the US, maybe for a couple of days at least. Over in New Orleans, again, in Mississippi, you can see in the greens, that's half an inch or less. We're really looking for just a hot, 
very sweltering August forecast without a whole lot of rain from Sunday into really the remainder of the upcoming week. The focus for the heavy rain and impacts, of course, will be Florida and then the southeastern U.S. So tropical headlines, no direct impacts for Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida and the East Coast certainly gearing up for tropical storm conditions and possibly that one section, some hurricane force winds as well, four to seven plus inches. And then Florida, the impacts are expected, especially Sunday. And now it looks like into Monday as well. And then for the southeastern US, it would take us into the middle of next week before this system eventually decides where it will go after it kind of falls out with the steering pattern by the early part of next week. So we'll keep you updated for now. This is what we have our 4 p.m. tropical update on what is now tropical storm Debbie still expecting to go into Florida late this weekend and early next week. We'll have more coming up on WWL Louisiana News at five and six.